So this question's uh, given us um, positions of certain items. It's telling us a right angle triangle that's being created. And the first question says calculate the distance of AC. Um, we're given two lengths, so that kind of cries out uh, use Pythagoras' theorem. And we should really draw out Pythagoras' theorem's triangle so that we recognize where we're putting our letters. So the theorem says that if I take the length of A squared plus the length of B squared, a will equal the length of C squared, and C is always the hypotenuse, the longest side, and that's really important. So here we've got the two short sides, this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle, so that becomes our C value. So in this particular example then, we've got 4.5 squared plus 6 squared, and that's going to equal our C squared, which is our length that we need squared, and when we do those values uh, on our calculator, um, four and a half squared plus six squared equals fifty six point two five. So the length of C squared is equal to fifty six point two five. And because we want the length of C, then the opposite squaring is square rooting. So we square root that and the question hasn't implied any particular uh, accuracy, so but it comes up as one decimal place anyway. So the answer is seven and a half kilometers. So that's an example of using Pythagoras and the next part of the question asks us to carry on working with this triangle and it's asking us to work out the bearing. So the bearing, remember, means that somewhere along the line we were facing north at a particular position and we turned a particular angle in a clockwise direction and because we're talking about being from A then and we want to look at C then we're talking about turning all the way around there in a clockwise direction. So the answer is going to be above 180 degrees. So we need something that will allow us to work that out. So when we look at the uh, information we've been given, then we were stood at A, and so basically they want us to work out this angle here, uh, this turn here for the bearing, and therefore it would be nice to work out what this angle is there. So if we sketch that out, then we can see that what we've got is we've got a right angle triangle where we want that angle and we're told that that's four and a half and we're told that this is six. So trigonometry, a uh, right angle triangle, two lengths given, find a missing angle, then we can use trigonometry to work it out. And we should realize then that we're going for our SOCAR TOA and we should recognize that our standard triangle has our missing angle theta there, so that's the opposite side, that's the hypotenuse, the longest side, and that's the adjacent side. <coughs> so here's our angle theta. So this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. The hypotenuse is not needed, so we're going to be using O and A, and the tangent ratio uses the opposite length and the adjacent length. So we're going to write tan theta, write the rule down. So tan theta is equal to the opposite length divided by the adjacent length, toa, O over A. And theta is what we need. O is given as four and a half, and A is given as six. They've got the same units, so we need to write the units down. We want theta, so the inverse of tan is tan to the minus one of the O and A value. So we're going to do the inverse tangent of the O value, 4.5 over the 6, which gives us an angle of to the minus 1 bracket, 4.5 divided by 6, close bracket, equals. So to one decimal place, three significant figures, because it says give the answer to the nearest degree. So we'll round this to 37 degrees. So to the nearest degree, we'll make it 37 degrees. Um, because we want the bearing, then we realize that the angle there is now 37 degrees. We've got the 180 degrees for the half turn there. So the bearing itself will be found by doing 180. So the bearing is 180 degrees plus the 37 degrees which gives us 217 degrees so our final answer will be 217 degrees and again that's about realizing that a bearing 
watch the position you're at, start facing north and then turn till you're facing the direction you wanted. We wanted to face C because it says C from A. So we stood at A and then we realised that using the triangle that's the 180 and then we could find this angle within the right angle triangle. So that's a Pythagoras review and trigonometry review.